Captain Garcia Lopez Cardenas, a Spanish conquistador, is credited with being one of the first Europeans to witness the Grand Canyon. In 1540, Cardenas was part of an expedition which aimed to explore and find riches in the southwestern regions of North America. While searching for the legendary Seven Cities of Gold, Cardenas and a small group of men ventured westward from present-day New Mexico. In the winter of 1540, Cardenas and his party arrived near the Hopi Indian villages in what is now Arizona. Hopi guides informed Cardenas about a great river located to the west, which they called the Rio Grande. Intrigued by this information, Cardenas selected a group of three soldiers to accompany him on an exploratory mission to find the river. After a challenging journey through difficult terrain, Cardenas and his men reached the southern rim of the Grand Canyon in the spring of 1540. The sight that greeted them was awe-inspiring. They beheld a vast and intricate chasm stretching as far as the eye could see, with towering cliffs and deep gorges carved by the Colorado River. However, the expedition deemed the area inhospitable and lacking the riches they sought, so further exploration of the Grand Canyon was not pursued at that time. Unfortunately, there are no known written records or accounts directly from Captain Cardenas about his observations and experiences at the Grand Canyon during his expedition. The explorers of that era, often relied on oral reports and later shared their findings through conversations and discussions. The primary information we have about Cardenas' journey and his encounter with the Grand Canyon comes from secondary sources, including later explorers and chroniclers who recounted the expedition and the discoveries made during that period. However, some people believe that there is said to be a book written by Cardenas and his team themselves that depicts their real expedition to Grand Canyon. Due to bizarre nature of the description of Grand Canyon, stated in this book it was kept extremely secretive but the stories are around, it is said that the book written by Cardenas states that. In the year 1540, a group of explorers set sail from the shores of Spain, embarking on a daring journey across the vast Atlantic Ocean. Their hearts were filled with curiosity and their minds with a burning desire to uncover new lands and treasures. Little did they know that their voyage would lead them to a breathtaking wonder hidden in the heart of North America. With sturdy ships and unwavering determination, the explorers sailed across the vast ocean, their sails flowing in the wind. As they ventured into the unknown, guided by maps and the stories of distant lands, the sight of a new land emerged on the horizon. Excitement surged through their veins as they approached the wild and untamed continent of North America. Their expedition was part of a larger quest for glory, driven by the tales of immense riches that awaited them in uncharted territories. As the explorers set foot on the unfamiliar soil, they knew they had embarked on a journey that would forever change their lives. They encountered indigenous tribes, exchanged goods, and marveled at the diverse landscapes that stretched before them. Word of a magnificent river flowing through the heart of this untamed land reached their eager ears. The explorers, filled with curiosity and an insatiable thirst for adventure, followed the whispers of this mythical river, the Colorado. Through dense forests and across rolling hills, they trekked with unwavering determination. The harsh elements tested their resilience, but their spirits remained unyielding. The explorers forged ahead, driven by the hope of discovering lands beyond their wildest dreams. Finally, after a long journey, the explorers reached the edge of a vast and awe-inspiring chasm. Their eyes widened with astonishment as they gazed upon the grandeur of the Grand Canyon. Towering cliffs and majestic rock formations stretched as far as the eye could see, seemingly carved by the hands of gods. Unable to resist the allure of the canyon's mysteries, they cautiously approached its precipice. They peered into the depths, marveling at the layers of vibrant colors etched into the ancient stone. It was a sight that no words could truly capture. As they delved further into its intricate passages, they discovered that this ancient wonder held more than just breathtaking beauty. One fateful night, while the explorers sought respite from their tiring journey, they encountered a tribe unlike any they had ever encountered before. At first, the tribe appeared welcoming and hospitable, offering food, shelter, and companionship. The explorers believed they had found allies in this uncharted land. However, as the moon cast its haunting glow upon the canyon, the tribe's true nature was unveiled. Their seemingly friendly smiles twisted into menacing grins, and their eyes gleamed with a hunger that chilled the explorers to the bone. They were captives in the midst of a cannibalistic tribe. Panicked, the explorers fought against their captors, their survival instincts kicking into overdrive. In the darkness, a desperate struggle ensued as the explorers battled for their lives against the tribe's relentless pursuit. The explorers managed to escape the clutches of their would-be captors. They sprinted through the treacherous terrain, their hearts pounding with adrenaline, as the tribe's enraged cries echoed behind them. The Grand Canyon, with its towering cliffs and narrow passages, became both their ally and their adversary. Each step was fraught with uncertainty, 
but the explorers refused to surrender to despair. They pushed themselves to the limits of their physical and mental endurance, fueled by the desperate need to survive. Navigating treacherous paths and making daring leaps across chasms, they steadily distanced themselves from the pursuing tribe. The echoes of their own footsteps drowned out the haunting calls that followed them, filling them with a sense of hope that they might escape the cannibalistic tribe's clutches. As the group of explorers ventured deeper into the Grand Canyon, they encountered a sight that defied all logic and reason. In this hidden realm, time seemed to fold upon itself, as prehistoric creatures that were long thought extinct roamed freely. Their eyes widened in disbelief as they beheld a spectacle that belonged to an era long past. Majestic saber-toothed tigers prowled the rocky terrain, their sharp fangs gleaming in the dappled sunlight. Massive 40-foot-long rattlesnakes slithered through the undergrowth, its scales luminous with a strange gloss. Mighty bison, towering and robust, grazed in the distance, their thunderous footsteps shaking the ground beneath their feet. The explorers, caught between wonder and fear, cautiously observed these incredible creatures from a safe distance. They marveled at the sheer scale and ferocity of these ancient beings. It was as if the Grand Canyon itself had become a sanctuary, preserving these long-lost species. But amidst the awe-inspiring display, danger lurked in the shadows. Without warning, a massive saber-toothed tiger lunged at the explorers from behind, its predatory instincts triggered by their presence. Panic gripped the group as they scattered, desperately seeking refuge from the ferocious beast. In their frantic search for safety, they stumbled upon a hidden entrance to a cavern, a refuge from both the savage predator and the wonders that surrounded them. With hearts racing and adrenaline coursing through their veins, they sought solace within the sanctuary of the underground cave. Inside, the explorers caught their breath, their bodies trembling with a mix of fear and exhilaration. The cave offered respite from the immediate danger, but it also presented a new mystery waiting to be unraveled. In the dim light, they surveyed their surroundings. As they ventured deeper into the cave, their footsteps echoing against the ancient walls, they discovered remnants of an ancient civilization. Paintings on the cavern walls depicted scenes of hunting, communal gatherings, giant humans, and worship, a testament to a civilization that once thrived in the heart of the Grand Canyon. It became clear to the explorers that this hidden refuge had been utilized by past inhabitants, perhaps seeking sanctuary from the very creatures they had encountered. The cave whispered stories of a forgotten world, a chronicle of a time long past. Gathering their wits and bolstered by their thirst for knowledge, the explorers made a decision. They would explore the depths of the underground cave, uncovering the secrets it held, and seeking a way to navigate the treacherous terrain of the Grand Canyon while avoiding further encounters with the prehistoric beasts that roamed its stretches. Little did they know that their decision would lead them on an extraordinary journey. They steeled themselves for the challenges that lay ahead, their spirits ignited by the allure of the unknown and the untold wonders that awaited them in the depths of the underground cave. As the explorers ventured deeper into the cave, their eyes widened in astonishment as they stumbled upon a hidden ecosystem thriving in the sunlight that poured through a massive hole in the cave ceiling. The vibrant flora bathed in the golden rays, creating a mesmerizing tableau of life within the depths of the Grand Canyon. However, their awe was short-lived, for their presence disturbed the delicate balance of this underground ecosystem. Suddenly, the peaceful scene transformed into a nightmarish onslaught as swarms of giant bugs, ridiculous and threatening descended upon the unsuspecting explorers. Cockroaches scurried with lightning speed, their monstrous forms dwarfing their terrestrial counterparts. Enormous spiders with venomous fangs spun webs with remarkable skill, ready to trap their prey. Beetles, their armored bodies gleaming, advanced with relentless determination. A deadly battle ensued as the explorers fought for their lives against this onslaught of giant insects. They swung their weapons with desperate precision, attempting to fend off the monstrous attackers, but the bugs, driven by instinct and hunger, showed no mercy. Tragically, amidst the chaos, one of the crew members fell victim to the relentless assault. In a horrifying turn of events, he was seized by a massive beetle and a gargantuan cockroach. The explorers watched in horror as their companion was torn apart, his body broken into pieces and devoured by the predatory bugs. The gruesome sight shook the remaining members of the group to their core, their grief and horror mingling with their determination to survive, they fought with all renewed ferocity, their fallen comrades serving as a haunting reminder of the price they could pay if they hesitated. In a stroke of fortune, as the insects swarmed, their attention momentarily diverted, the surviving members of the crew seized the opportunity to escape. They quickly fashioned ropes from their equipment and with desperate urgency, ascended toward the opening in the cave ceiling. Climbing hand over hand, their muscles strained and their hearts raced, the explorers pulled themselves closer to the light that beckoned from above. 
inch by inch, they inched their way toward freedom, fueled by a mixture of fear and determination. Finally, as they emerged through the hole in the ceiling, they were greeted by the cool breeze and open expanse of the Grand Canyon. Gasping for breath and covered in sweat and dirt, they took a moment to reflect on the tragedy that had befallen their fallen comrade. With heavy hearts and newfound vigilance, the remaining explorers vowed to honor their fallen companion by pressing on, despite the horrors they had witnessed. They knew that the Grand Canyon held both wonders and dangers beyond imagination, but their resilience and spirit were undeterred. As they continued their expedition, scars of loss etched upon their souls, they carried the memory of their fallen comrade, a constant reminder of the fragility of life in the face of untamed wilderness. With each step, they trekked forward, navigating the mysteries and perils of the Grand Canyon, determined to uncover its secrets while never forgetting the price that had been paid along the way. As the explorers traversed the vast expanse of the Grand Canyon, their provisions dwindling and their bodies weakened by the arduous journey, they found themselves in a desperate search for nutrition. Their hunger drove them to hunt smaller animals that roamed the canyon, providing them with the necessary nutrition to stay alive. However, as they ventured deeper into the heart of the canyon, a sight unlike anything they had ever witnessed greeted their weary eyes. Emerging from the shadows of the towering cliffs, a tribe of colossal beings came into view. These stone giants, standing an imposing 20 feet in height like depicted on the drawings in cave, possessed a skin texture that mirrored the rugged rocks that formed the canyon itself. The stone giants moved with an unhuman grace, their footsteps echoing with a deep resonance that reverberated through the canyon walls. Their long hair and beards, resembling the roots of trees and grass, swayed with each step, giving them an ethereal and ancient appearance. Curiosity mingled with caution as the explorers cautiously observed the stone giants from a safe distance. The giants seemed to possess an innate connection to the natural world. The explorers soon realized that these enigmatic beings dwelled within the depths of the Grand Canyon, seeking refuge in caves hidden from the prying eyes of outsiders. It was in these hidden sanctuaries that the stone giants found solace and harmony with the rugged landscape that surrounded them. The explorers, fascinated and filled with a sense of reverence, contemplated the nature of these giants. Were they guardians of the canyon, protectors of its secrets, or were they ancient beings, offcuts of a forgotten time, who had found a way to coexist with the untamed wilderness? Though the stone giants evoked a mixture of awe and nervousness, the explorers recognized that they posed no immediate threat. Their movements were serene, and there was an air of calmness that came from their presence. It became clear that these colossal beings were deeply attuned to the ancient rhythm of the Grand Canyon. Acknowledging the limits of their own understanding, the explorers chose not to disturb the stone giants in their sanctuary. With a newfound respect for the delicate balance of the natural world, they continued their expedition, weaving their way through the paths of the canyon, always aware of the giants' watchful gaze. As the explorers pressed onward, the memory of the stone giants remained etched in their minds, a evidence to the mysterious wonders that lay within the depths of the Grand Canyon. They embarked on their journey with a renewed appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living things, their hearts open to the possibility of encountering further marvels and challenges that awaited them in this ancient and magnificent land. After enduring countless hardships and braving the perils of the Grand Canyon, the exhausted group of explorers reached a pivotal high point that offered them a vantage point to navigate the mighty Colorado River. Determined to find their way out of the treacherous terrain, they carefully descended towards the river's edge, their eyes tracing its meandering path. Days turned into weeks as they walked along the banks of the Colorado River, their bodies weary but their spirits unyielding. The sound of rushing water and the breathtaking beauty of the surrounding landscape provided a sense of solace amidst their dreadful journey. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the group emerged from the confines of the Grand Canyon, stepping foot into the territory of the outer tribes they had encountered at the beginning of their expedition. The encounter with these tribes served as a stark reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of connection. Traumatized by the trials they had faced, the explorers sought solace and support from the outer tribes, who offered them shelter, sustenance, and comfort. With their bodies battered and their souls forever marked by their journey, the group made the arduous return back to Europe. Overwhelmed by the enormity of their experiences, they collectively decided to keep the true nature of their expedition hidden, revealing only the natural beauty of the Grand Canyon when asked. As a way to reconcile their emotions and share their extraordinary tale, the group embonary tale, the group embarked on a collective endeavor, they combined their individual accounts and penned a book that chronicled their true experiences. In its pages, they poured their hearts and souls, recounting the trials, the wonders, and the unimaginable encounters they had faced within the depths of the Grand Canyon. With their tale committed to paper, the explorers shared their experiences among themselves and with trusted confidants, 
forever binding them through their shared secret. Their decision to keep their true experiences concealed from the public was a testament to their understanding of the delicate balance between preserving the mysteries of the world and the impact of such knowledge on the unprepared. Now it is said that as the years passed, the explorers went their separate ways, their lives forever shaped by the extraordinary expedition they had undertaken. The book, passed down through generations, became a whispered legend, an untold story that carried within it the raw essence of human resilience, the beauty of the natural world, and the unwavering spirit of exploration. The true origin, authenticity and current location of this book is still unknown to date.